What's up everybody, it's Jill from JLW Games coming at you with another cool video of course, playing Planet Coaster in our park once again. So, uh, in this episode we do kind of work a lot more on the uh, Main Street part, and uh, because it is a little blank right now and we gotta get a lot more uh, buildings and cool stuff here. So, uh, the idea here was to add... Uh, kind of this castle-y type theme, uh, food court type thing. It's gonna, gonna have some restaurant, or different, uh, food stalls, and, uh, actually had, end up having the hat stall as well inside here, uh, which was just kind of a cool little idea. It's something quick to put together that, uh, was, uh, actually interactive to attract more guests this way, because I don't have a lot, and, yeah, so I do end up getting quite a bit done in this episode, in my opinion, because I end up doing, uh, working on the main street here, uh, get a couple flat, or one flat ride, if you want to call it one, and also, uh, start a, uh, <laughs> kind of a roller coaster, but you'll see what I mean by that, in j uh, and later in the video. But, um, anyways, this, uh, little courthouse, or this little, um, food court, courthouse this little uh food court um just very simple it's just like a little i just make a little plaza inside of it uh with some places to eat and uh, that's about it it's just kind of like the castle food court um nothing too heavily themed it's just kind of there and i want to make sure i had uh, enough stalls here so i also put a restroom stall as well and just put the signs on uh, all of the top of them so you know which one is each. And then of course uh, I need to realign it. I had to realign it with the pathway here. That way it lined up perfectly uh, with it. With that as well. So yeah, no, nothing too special about this building, but um, just wanted. I just had to add some Main Street uh, elements and stuff. Didn't know too much what to add, so I thought this castle concept was kind of a cool addition for the park. And um, because there's not a whole lot of theme, gonna be a whole lot of theming in this park, but um, because it's more of an amusement park rather than a theme park, uh, so that's that's good with that. And a lot of lamps because we want to make sure this is very well lit, and just some rocks here and there to make the ride or the uh, ride. I just cannot get my terms right today with anything. So just to make this little plaza, or whatever you want to call it, um, just a little bit more <coughs> neat and uh, more interactive and just kind of cool. So that is the little plaza and the little thing. So whatever you want to call it. Um, the We'll call it the castle food court, <laughs> I guess. You know, it seems fine to me, and I, uh, you know, complete with toilets, so you're all set. Everything you need is in that food court, uh, for life, so you got food, you got drinks, and you got toilets, so that's all you need. So, um, I had to decorate this outside part just a little bit to make it look really cool, and it turned out quite nice and quite pretty, so, um, <coughs> might add some details in later, but... Or details as in like props and stuff later, but um, it will work for right now. And you know, we get these little signs so people know that um, all that stuff is on the inside of this uh, castle. So I wanted to add an arrow at first, but I was like, ah, this is starting to look kind of silly, uh, and uh, decided to just let, let it be for right now. So that's that. And then um, into this, uh, I wanted to create a, another building uh, just for. Um, kicks and tricks and whatever you want to call them uh, for fun <laughs> so this is uh, I never tried this combination with the bricks the orange bricks with the uh, uh, stucco wall or stucco stucco whatever you want to call it um, and uh, I can see why most people don't use it together because it, it kind of looks kind of strange but I thought it looked all right it turned out but um, this building is just another placeholder for the main street, and that's the main purpose of it. Because, you know, it's a main street, there's got to be a lot of buildings that um, just make it up. So, 
<clears throat> I should probably have a, some more stalls on some of these buildings. That way, uh, guests are a little bit more um, attracted to the area, and rather than not having any guests at all on the main street, you know. So that probably would be a decent idea. <laughs> and I need to get more flat rides into this park. There's not a whole lot of flat rides, or rides in general. So um, a lot more flat rides will probably be uh, coming soon to make the park just to pop just a little bit more and more attractions, you know, will attract more guests, of course. And uh, that's exactly what you want to have. Uh, but, um, again, this building, another simple building, and, um, uh, by no means am I, I never have been good at, um, <laughs> designing buildings or, you know, detailing buildings in this game yet, anyways, and I hope to get better at that as I go along, and I think I've gotten better, uh, in the past, so, uh, I thought it was gonna be really cool to, uh, add some drop towers here, and I wanted to add, like, two right next to each other. And, uh, to make a, you know, double drop tower, and I thought, thought it was kind of cool. Uh, because, uh, you got twin drop towers, and that's a lot of capacity, so, uh, I didn't have to make the queue lines so long for them, and, uh, they worked out quite nicely. So, uh, I saw that you could actually join the queue lines together, and I'm like, well, that'd be kind of weird. So I wrapped them all around completely, they didn't completely go symmetrical, but that's alright. Um, it doesn't have to be symmetrical, I guess. <laughs> uh, it'll be fine the way it is. As long as people can find the ride and they find it fun, it does not matter, am I right? <clears throat> so, the exits, I wanted to make it somewhat sym symmetrical, but it doesn't completely go uh, symmetrical as, um, I probably would want it to. Because these pathways are just kind of weird. And, um... Uh, it will still work for what it is, so. And then I wanted to add kind of like this border around it, so this, uh, um, wooden, uh, fence, as I'll, I'll, as I'll call it, uh, made the cut for it, and, uh, it's not symmetrical on either sides by no means either. I just kind of wrap it around, uh, just a little bit as best as I can, not as best as I can, probably just a way to have a border around these two things and as you can see it's completely slanted and not lined up properly but you know it gives it possibly just a little bit more character when uh, it's like that so uh, who cares I think it looks good <clears throat> I can't wait till we can actually recolor and re uh, you know choose have more option customization options for the rides uh, hopefully that's coming in alpha 3 as the or some of the uh, pictures that we've seen saw different colors on the uh, flat rides and stuff, so we might be seeing some different colored uh, flat rides or that you or customizable flat rides colors and stuff like that, and that will be really cool to have. And I want to create this little sign for the entrance of this ride. I thought it'd be kind of neat and kind of cool, you know, the Screaminator, yeah. <laughs> and uh, just not nothing too fancy, just a little cool sign uh entrance for the rides so uh, that way you know you're entering the screaminator zone uh, right there so and that is that ride not too much to it and um just in, uh do it i do decide to enclose it with these fences that way um guests can't wander around in places they're not supposed to and that's you know you got to think about the design and stuff of everything to make sure your guests are properly safe, even, you know, when they decide to, like, hop fences and stuff, you know, you can't have that. <clears throat> so, thankfully, none of these guests will do it because they're in Planet Coaster, so, yay! And I thought these two towers actually turned out really cool, and uh, I can't wait to see how they look in action, and actually riding them themselves. Hopefully you, get, hopefully you do get a pretty good view of the park from them. And that's the main goal. And again, I'm trying to get more rides that I didn't have in the last park in this park. So, you're, um, I didn't have any drop towers in the last park. So, I thought it would be a good fit for this park to have some drop towers and that. So, this park differs a lot more from the last park I did. And that was kind of the goal. Uh, I was trying to get some more stuff that... Um, <clears throat> trying to get some rides that were not in the last park that I didn't get to. So, 
Um, they're sister parks, not really, and they are and they ain't, and they are and they're not, because, you know, they have different style stuff. But they're owned uh, by the same company, and that's the main goal, that they're both going to be owned in the same company and the storyline that we're going for, for the parks and stuff like that. Uh, it's just kind of cool. And um, <clears throat> the main street's hopefully going to come out, come along here pretty soon. And uh, uh, I wanted to add this Insanity ride too, because it's another ride that I didn't have in Mystic Bay. And here it is. And it looks pretty cool. And I uh, can't wait to implement it as well. <coughs> so, anyways, <clears throat> um, I'm hoping not. Uh, but just a fair warning, in the next couple days... There could possibly be days without an upload. Um, I'm going to try to avoid this as best as I can, but I'm actually uh, going to be in the process of moving to a new house, and they can't install my internet until the till the 25th of August, I think was uh, the soonest I'm going to be able to get that done. But I'm um, hoping if I ha find enough free time to actually get ahead, on YouTube and have enough scheduled videos to where there will still be uh, uploads every day. So if there is some days in a row that there's no uploads, I really do dearly apologize. And I'll try and make up with those for like, I'll probably put like, uh, you know, more than one video up in a day to try and make up for that. If if that does happen, if that does happen, I'm, I'm, I'm terribly sorry. So anyways, back to the video. Um, I wanted to go ahead and build a little kitty coaster. There's literally not much to this coaster. And there's just this little spot right here. And I was like, that would be really cute for kind of a kitty coaster and stuff. So it's literally just a uh, couple of hills and turns and uh, all the way back into the station. It's a very small ride, very quick ride. It's just what you would expect out of a kitty coaster. And it's actually a pretty tall, t uh, pretty tall tall kitty coaster if um uh you actually look at the uh tall I'm probably at least i would say at least 50 feet tall if not more <clears throat> so uh but anyways uh, uh again you have to go over i had to go through and make sure everything was smooth and smoothed it out uh as best as i could because it's just a small addition to the park but um that's the last thing i actually end up putting in um before this episode ends is this little kitty coaster change the color of it of course to make it look a little bit better but that's about it for this episode i hope you guys enjoyed um hopefully we might be getting to the next full big coaster in the next episode but we'll see and uh have a great day and an even cooler tomorrow i'll catch you next time goodbye <laughs>